Hmm. Fuck yeah. But I would like to get this cleared up, and I'm more than willing to give the neighbors a call, and we can hopefully try to try to clear this up. Um, if, if I could just add... Um, oh, who's it, this? Andrew, um, Sorry, hello. Who, who is this? This is, this is Mrs. Leonard. This is Kelly oh. Leonard. Okay, yeah, yeah. My husband has you on, on speakerphone, oh, and I was okay. listening, so that's why I okay. was chiming in. The, the thing that I find to be extremely interesting is it seemed like there was a bit of confusion even on the part of the contractors mm-hmm. because when we even inquired as to why there was a truck on the property, the one gentleman actually indicated that, and, and he used a racial term, that they weren't supposed to have the vehicles on private property the way that they were. So he was... Okay, what was the racial term? Sorry. Well, no, he, he just said Spanish people. I don't know what these Spanish people are doing. They okay. know that we're not supposed to have um, a vehicle of this size on this kind of property, and that's why I'm calling a supervisor. Okay. Yeah, because uh, according to the report, it says that you had, uh, not you, sorry, your husband had come out in his boxers, and um, he was verbally yeah, berating them, and he, yeah. he used the term, uh, apparently, quote-unquote, dirty spicks, get off my lawn. Oh and my then, and then he said, I, dirty spicks, dirty spicks, go back to Mexico with your burritos, get the fuck off my lawn. That's exactly oh what Oh my says. goodness, ma'am, I, 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 I really, I, I, that, <laughs> that's alarming to me, and, and we oh, take personal... Uh, it's alarming to me, too. He said... Yeah, he, we he take says, personal says, offense to that, ma'am, and I, oh, and I, I wish you knew uh, even a morsel of our character it, and the it hurts integrity my heart. of us. It hurts my heart to even say that. That's not the type of thing that I would ever say. I'm just reading right. directly and so my. My question now is, and my challenge is this, is it's going to be difficult for us to allow them back on our property without us notifying law enforcement when they come back on our property oh, since no. we're being falsely accused the way that you have indicated. Yeah. So, yeah. I, you know, right now it seems like the best way to resolve the issue it's is just to that let the police deal with it maybe. Well, I mean, well, no, yeah, we'll get our attorneys involved. Well, do, you, do you think there's a way? Do you think there's a way that you know, like when they do come back tomorrow, if maybe you could just, you know, you could stay in the house and they can keep to to what they're doing, and maybe we can just, you know, try to avoid any um, confrontation. You know, is there a way that we can just? You know, have well, it work well, out. Like, I think the challenge is, ma'am, is that well, there, there's no challenge. There's been no, 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 no the challenge, challenge for us. The challenge for us is that there was no confrontation. And so I'm a bit puzzled why the issue has been exacerbated well, the way that it well, like, has. Like I said, I'm not sure when you started um, listening to the conversation, but uh, the property that they were on, apparently, we do have um, sort of a information from the city stating that that area that they were on specifically is actually not your property it's considered city property well, that's not but that's and not your property case. line well you, it says your property line actually is it ends at a certain point right and so they were after that point so no ma'am, no, ma'am. This, well, is, I, this is a private residence we know our property line uh, explicitly we have the maps that show our property line okay now you're asking us to just stay in the house well, we have okay. jobs. No, I'm, we have I'm to not come saying, in and out of the house. We have two okay. teenagers who okay. go back and forth to school. That's fine. That's fine. You can leave. I'm not telling you just to stay in your house. But if, if you cannot stop yourself from making racial remarks or yelling at them, then I ask, please, to uh, try to avoid that at all costs. And ma'am, I told you there were no racial remarks made by me. I spoke with them very respectfully. Okay, well, if, if there's I a way for you not to... Well, well, maybe, it, do you think there's a way for you maybe just to not address them? Just sort of, you know, put your blinders on, pretend if that they're not there? If someone's on your property, wouldn't you address them and ask them, what are you doing? How long are you going to be here? That's a that's a, 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 a right that we have. No, someone comes on your if, property, you have the right to ask them, well, who are yes. you representing? You know what? You know what I would do, and I've actually done this before. If it was a random stranger, I would be curious, but... If it was, you know, people who were in a marked car or a vehicle with uniforms. Were unmarked on. vehicles. No okay. one had a badge, ma'am. Not okay, one of them had a Comcast badge. Okay, but listen, they clearly had tools of the trade with them. They were clearly doing work. So at that point, I would say, hello, guys, where are you from? And I would probably make them some sweet tea and, and bring it out to them. I would be uh, a civil, you know, a civil neighborly type person. Ma'am, I don't appreciate your tone, and I'd like to get to the next level of your supervisor, a manager, 
someone who's going to be able to deal with us. You're listening to, listening to the Prank Call Nation Network Machine. Hello. 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 At PrankCallNation.com.